Today we had a Rode Microphone Clinic here at Musicians Institute in Hollywood. I wanted to introduce Rode Microphones to the students because they're really great microphones. They're within the student's budget. You know, we have a lot of people come here and do clinics and sometimes they bring in high-end stuff and the students go, ooh, wow, that's really cool. But it's a piece of gear that's 2,500 bucks. And so I wanted to introduce them to Rode Microphones, which are my personal favorite microphones. Uh, they're very affordable. Uh, and they're really long-lasting microphones. My inspiration, as I said at the beginning of the clinic, was reading this book on recording the Beatles. They weren't focusing on the music, they were focusing on the equipment and the techniques that were used in recording the Beatles. And I was so fascinated with the fact that uh, they were live in the studio, no headphones, the band set up, everybody's in the room together. And I thought, you know, this is something I know the students have never seen. They've seen you know, uh, in their classes we'll record, one day we'll record the drums and the next day we'll do the bass and then we'll do the guitar and you know, obviously we're teaching them audio engineering but they've never seen anything like this where we just set it up live, let it fly and what happens, happens. The goal was for the students to have a idea in real time in front of, uh, of the band sitting in the audience, they could listen to it. We had a PA system out there to hear it as if it were a live club. And we had all the road mics set up going to separate tracks in Pro Tools and back in the control room. They could come in and hear uh, what it sounds like, what each one of the mics sounds separately, what it sounds together, and that's really what we're going for is the overall sound. Didn't use any spectacular EQ or compressors or anything special trying to really dial it in. So they could hear exactly raw, as we say, raw as it's coming in from the mics. Mic placement is extremely important because the, where the mic is in relationship to the instrument makes a whole lot of difference. Like with the Rode stereo microphone, uh, um, moving it a little bit in either direction, up or down, can make a huge difference. And the way I teach that here at MI is that all of audio engineering is 10% science, 90% art. Right, So it's experimentation and you may have to put the headphones on while you're adjusting the microphone to find out where it sits the best. And then I'm always telling the students, why don't we try moving the mic a little bit and see what we get. Move it this way, move it that way. Sometimes where you put it first is the best place, but you know, take five minutes and go out and move it and you may find a spot that, that, that hits better. So it's all experimentation. I think the most important thing about getting ready to record a live band is that your band is ready to record. Okay? Because you get the band in there, have they rehearsed? If they haven't rehearsed, you know, you may not get you may not get what you want. Your band has got to be prepared and ready to come in the studio, otherwise you're just wasting your time. I love what I do. I love the end product of holding that CD or that that record in my hand and going, wow man, I was a part of this. To me, it's all about whatever you do in life. You One, you have to have an undying love for the end product of what you do. And the second thing is, it's got to come from here. If it doesn't come from here, it doesn't mean anything.